Hello and welcome. Today in this tutorial we learn different ways to create terrain in Blender. We can use some tricks to make terrain to easy for 3D environment modeling or make landscape. The first way it's proportional edit is a way of transforming selected elements such as vertices while having that transformation affect other nearby elements. For example, Having the movement of a single vertex cause the movement of unselected vertices within a given range. This tool may give some control of geometry and you edit your modeling terrain, but it can't give some details in the modeling, so it's not good enough to make a high models of landscape. The second way is, sculpting mode in Blender can help you to make terrain, because of the number of brushes in the sculpting mode you have, so can use it to add some good details in your terrain to make nice view, but you need a huge number of subdivision on the object to get good details and brush working in sculpting mode. If you are professional in sculpting and using the brushes, you will get nice results and you can create much more details to your own workflow, like hills, paths, and mountain, or dune. The third way in this tutorial, it's to use displacement modifier. This modifier is so easy and cool for making displacement, it can help you to use some texture in Blender to make terrain. This modifier can offer you many options to make your terrain modeling so easy. Thetisplus Emoti displaces vertices in a mesh based on the intensity of a texture. Either procedural or image textures can be used. The displacement can be along a particular local axis, along the vertex normal, or the separate RGB components of the texture can be used to displace vertices in the local X, Y, and Z directions simultaneously. Ant Landscape. This add-on creates landscapes and planets using various noise types. Untat stands for another noise tool. We can adjust the main settings and regenerate the mesh, smooth the mesh, triangulate the mesh, rename and add materials that you have in your blend file. Here we can adjust the displacement settings and refresh only those settings. Adjust height, Fall off and strata in this section. The last way in this tutorial it's using shader editor or using geometry nodes in Blender, 
it must be complicated for beginners, but it will give a professional workflow to make terrain or landscape. So you can use a group of nodes to make terrain, and you can use image nodes as a reference to complete your scene. Blender users and geometry nodes must be careful from the high number of subdivision. This may crush your computer before finish your job. Shader editor and geometry nodes have the same system. Work of nodes. If make yourself practicing hard, you will make landscape so easy in Blender. At last, Blender can give you different ways to make landscape and terrain. You can choose the right way to get your work in high performance, and this ways may help you for a long time.